All right, so I'm making this video the next day after posting the one titled, I wish I had a worse childhood. And I guess I've had some time to reflect and think about that concept a little bit more. And once I looked over that concept through the lenses of some of the other videos that I've released on this channel, the videos that stood out to me was the one about the law of attraction, the one titled Your Life Means Nothing, and the one I talked about a couple days ago where despair is suffering without meaning. So the question that arose for me was, did I always have this sort of optimistic mindset where I would always try to look for the good in situations? And this is because when I talked about my childhood and my past in my last video, I was only really able to mention good things in my childhood, notably being like making honors orchestra every year, getting my black belt, getting good grades despite trying, getting into honor society, stuff like that. So had I focused on the failures that I did have in my life, in, the, in my childhood, then would I have a different view on my past? And would I have viewed it as a worse childhood that I guess I wish I would have had? That's kind of the big picture question that I came to after processing all my thoughts about the topic from yesterday. Now, I think this is very interesting because had I focused on every single failure, because I am I know for a fact that I have failed in my childhood, but they're just not so significant to where my mind is able to pinpoint them in the past up until that junior year of high school that I mentioned earlier. So if I had focused throughout my whole entire life and my childhood, if I had focused solely on the mistakes that I made growing up, and the failures that I encountered rather than looking at all these good sides, obviously it wouldn't have been as tragic of a childhood as being abused or living in poverty. Because I know that one thing for a fact is that I had a very supporting and loving family, which I'm very grateful for always. So it wouldn't have gotten to that extent of being a bad childhood that I was fantasizing about and like take that with a grain of salt because that should not be something that you fantasize about having a shit childhood. But I'm just interested in the idea that maybe I've had this kind of outlook on life rather than just tunnel visioning on the negative and making that the sole focus of my development as a child and just growing up only focusing on the mistakes and the failures that I've had, which in turn having the optimistic mindset and I guess more of a growth mindset and looking for the positive things rather than the negative things, I've been able to develop upon that positive mindset and that growth mindset even further now getting into adulthood. Maybe that's just something to think about is that maybe it was a, a good foundation and that having that supporting and loving family in my childhood allowed me to look for the positives rather than look at the negative things. And then that in turn, like I said, that there's no real positive or negative events. They're neutral events that happen, but your reaction and your interpretation of how you see those events is what is perceived in how it makes you feel about them. So take, for example, if we go back to my first significant memory of failure that I really realized in my mind, a breakup, that event is a neutral event. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing inherently. It just means that one person wanted something and the other person wanted something else and it just didn't fit. So we went separate ways. So that event of us going our own separate ways is not a good or bad thing in and of itself. If I'm interpreting it as, oh, this girl led me on for five months and then just broke my heart, that reaction and emotion is what's going to make me feel like this event which is at base value a neutral event it's going to make me interpret that and perceive it as a negative event rather than a good thing and then on the other hand from her perspective she sees it as oh i didn't want to lead this guy on for another five months past whatever i've already put him through so i think by cutting it off now i'll be able to go my own way, kind of figure things out on my own. So cutting this off would be a good event for her and a bad event for me, just based on the interpretations and connotations that we bring to the event. But in its base state, it is a neutral event where interpretations cloud your judgment and produce emotions within you that lead you to believe that the event was either good or bad. So I guess my overall conclusion seems to be that as a kid, 
I suppose I was always just looking for the positive events, even though I know I've had failures in the past. For some reason, I just can't remember any significant ones. So I guess what I want you to get out of this video is that, again, if you're looking for the positives in life, you'll view the positives. And I think that's overall a more healthy way of developing your mental health is to now obviously don't ignore completely the bad things that happen in life because there are lessons to be learned from them but i think you could really benefit from trying to view the positive sides rather than the negative sides because again in society we're told all the bad things that happen if you turn on the news they're literally only going to be telling you bad things and tragedies and all this awful stuff that's happening around the world they rarely show you anything good because that's what gets the views that's what gets the clicks is this bad news and this controversy and, and telling good news doesn't necessarily retain viewership or attract a certain type of audience but yeah sorry for another like introspective topic for today i did say that this was going to be sort of a video journal for myself so i can kind of just talk about ideas that come to my mind and that i find value in as well and then maybe Hopefully you can gain some value from whatever discussion that I'm having with myself. And if you want to join, feel free as well to share your comments. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.